I'm here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Wargame House. How's everyone doing? Hello, RDL. Hello, Reddy. Hello, G. How are you lovely folks doing this evening? Tonight, we are playing a game that is on Kickstarter currently as we speak. Hi, Bay. Hi, Bay. Uh, it is called Dragons vs. Unicorns. Uh, it's a very cute, simple game where you are building little dragons and or, unicorns. or unicorns and then fighting to destroy your opponents to get points. And the person with all the points at the end wins. Pew, pew. Pretty simple. Uh, there should be a command of Expert Point Kickstarter, which will let you guys go to a page. Uh, please do use that link if you decide to back the game because they are being kind enough to give us a unique link that gives us a little bit of a kickback. Uh, so if you do like think that this is a game that you, your friends, your family would enjoy, um, it looks super cute. Seventeen dollars uh, seventy five cents. Yeah, there are. If you get it today, they're already at like two thousand dollars, and they're only trying to get to thirty six hundred, and it's only the second day. Uh, so, it, I have no doubt that it will get funded. Um, it's just let's let's try to help push them very quickly because this is an independent co person that's just doing this. I believe he and his son are the ones that created the game. Um, <laughs> Derek's feeling himself in this sweatshirt today, and. <laughs> He's, he's moving. It's so soft and comfortable. I've literally been waiting for this all day. <laughs> Specifically for the sweatshirt. Um, <laughs> that sounded like I meant the stream. I meant the sweatshirt. We all knew you meant the sweatshirt. I'll just clarify if anybody's new out there. So Twitch has been having issues all day long. So if you guys are having any issues, let us know in chat. Um, we will do nothing about it. There's not a whole lot. Well, it, it is. It's an Amazon issue. Um, so if for some reason... Uh, if you're new, Derek hates us. <laughs> valid. Um, <laughs> if you're having issues, please bear with it. Refresh. Try to do things. There's nothing we do on our end uh, because our connection is good. Our bit rate's good. So... It is all because Amazon's uh, servers are being fucky today. Damn you, Jeff Bezos. Um, if you stop making, you know, penis rockets and actually put money into your company. Uh, they're called cock rockets. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I really but before we get a few quick announcements. First of all, if you missed it, hair. <laughs> on Monday, we had our fourth session of Curse of Strahd. Yeah, it was good. It was chaotic. <laughs> Very chaotic. <laughs> Uh, do you want to tell the stream what you told us in the text message today? Yeah, I fucking forgot, but they leveled up to fourth level when they Woo! left that dead body hanging from that tree. So, we can... When they left the dead body hanging from the tree. I mean, when they left the dead body. Should we have taken the dead body? <laughs> I'm, not say I'm, not, I'm not saying that you left the body, I'm saying you left... And the body was there. Okay. <laughs> when you walked away from the dead body that was hanging from the tree. So, we'll tell you about what changes we made to our characters, if any, if you guys care, uh, when we start the next session. Um, but we wanted to let you know, oh shit, that means I need to update the overlays and stuff too. So I'll need people to roll their hit die and oh, all that kind of shit. stuff before then. And if anybody changes stats or anything, that also affects that. Well... I plan on taking a feat. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what feat. There's a bunch of feats. I have a, I have mine narrowed down to 15. 15? To 15 feats? 15 different feats I'm thinking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. For different reasons. <laughs> I have to decide which one I want to take. Well, while we're all talking about hypotheticals, I for no reason at all made a 15th level character today. Why? No reason. Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> Megan. Hmm. Mounted combat. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> mounted, you don't want mounted combat. It doesn't do anything except let you be proficient in attacking from the mount. Yes, where would she find a mount? He does his own thing willy-nilly. <laughs> That's don't. dangerous. You climbed up a wet building. <laughs> she would have been full dead. I would have done that if she was on my back. Uh, but yeah, so we'll talk about that. Steven has a feet fetish. Um. 
good? No. You tripped up your undercut. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did it all by myself the morning I left from Nima <laughs> Like, literally, I woke up, cut it, because I was annoyed, and then left. <laughs> uh, people who work with are down below us in the in the description. You have, like, 1985 uh, games. You have uh, GeekCon. You have... Uh, uh, Christmas 20. Body soap! Uh, you have... I need soap. Claw. I had to go buy soap. Check them all out. Uh, support them. They're great people. Uh, I think that's really everything we have to talk about. Let you oh, I got a them. couple of Kickstarters that I think are really interesting. Oh, Kickstarter This the one, corner. obviously. Obviously this one. Uh, I don't think the store is locked. <laughs> oh. Obviously Aww. this one. Uh, Sad. Sagrada Artisans, the legacy version of Sagrada, has two days left. Two days. Steven, it has two days left. Two days. Mm -hmm. if I, I was just letting you know. Uh, the Fox Experiment, uh, which we checked out at Gen Con, which looks really fun. You're dealing with the genetics of foxes, different generational aspects of foxes, science and fun. Uh, obviously this one... Um, and then one that I think is really cool, a long time ago, we talked about Yarrow Studios. They did the Infinite Dungeons. Uh, they just released a new Kickstarter. It's called Flip Dice. Uh, it is a full set of dice that are actually metal coins. And they have worked out the math and the science of the internal uh, of a coin. So when you flip it and catch it, there's a little metal ball on the inside that comes down and lands in a number. So you don't have to roll dice. You can just flip coins, which is cool as shit. Uh, and you can get one coin, one metal coin for $25 or a full set for $99. And it seems like a really cool deal. Plus, like, the science, like, on the page, it gives you a video that explains the science of how each coin works. It's so cool. And I wish I wasn't broke because I would buy the shit out of this. Okay, but real quick. Oh, sorry. Hi, Truth Eternal. The Turtle. has a very important question, and we have to, we have to help them. And it's right now. So, Truth. What games? What game would you say is your favorite game that you own currently? Or what style of game do you normally like? I don't. I don't know why we're doing that. Pan Am, excellent purchase. Uh, Destinies, excellent purchase. Uh, what is T fourteen? No, I think it's Ti four. Ti four. I have no idea. Hmm. And the last Kickstarter thing I want to talk to you about in October, uh, there's a mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. an RPG uh, supplement coming out that is Monty Python themed. Super fucking excited for that. I'm uh, gonna buy the shit out of that. If you like Twilight Imperium, well, we and, can't help you. Well, uh, <laughs> there is a new Twilight Inscription, which is a Roland, Roland. right? Uh, that, that just came out of Gen Con. If you can find a copy of that, people seem to be really hyped about that. Um, if you're looking for just a board game that is a little bit heavier, seeing how you like Twilight Imperium, um, I would always recommend things like Terraforming Mars is a really good heavier game. Um, Terraforming Mars has um, split. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. So... Things I've learned. A medium weight, well themed game. I uh, think Pan Am is fantastic. I know it's been out for a couple years, but we just played it recently. I think it was great. But medium weight. Um, I, is that not medium weight? Mm. If that is lightweight, I don't want anything. Uh, if heavier. you can find any game that is from, if you can find any game that is from Forbidden Games. Things like Raccoon Tycoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Railroad Rivals. Extraordinary Adventures Pirates is fucking Extraordinary amazing. Extraordinary Adventures Pirates. Um, or what is another one? They did Lizard Wizards. Lizard they? Wizards. Lizard Wizards. They, they, have a lot of, Lizard Wizards. they have a lot of alliteration, but all of their games are nicely themed mm -hmm. um, and all have very unique mechanics, but seem to be relatively well balanced. So anything from Forbidden Games, I'd recommend. We should talk about medium weight games. Um, if you're looking for a lightweight game, though, I, I genuinely think that those Funko games that we got, the Disney ones, mm -hmm. Big Thunder Mountain and Haunted Mansion, are absolutely fantastic, easy to learn, easy to play light games. 
I want everybody to have them. If you're looking for something medium to heavier, they have great themes and great components. Pretty much any Stonemeyer game That's true. out there are really good. Um, Stonemeyer makes great components, great games, great themes. Uh, so look for Stonemeyer as well. Uh, we love Viticulture. We love. Uh, oh, what is it called? Also, what a great question. Nobody ever asks us about games. <laughs> Four years of doing this, 400 games in our collection. Nobody ever rolls into chat and they're like, hey, what should we buy? I mean, what a great, I mean, this is a good moment for us. This is what we did, started four years ago to do. It took this long for somebody to just do it. Um, yeah, Pan Am I is... I look for Pan Am. Oh, I agree with Derek. I would think it's, I think it's a medium okay. weight game. I would not, I would not take Pan Am home for my family to play it. That would be on the verge of being too heavy. Thank you for the follow, Truth Eternal. All right. <laughs> gee, gee, we know that you're not here for the games. I don't actually know why you're here most of the time, but I love you. He likes our faces. Ooh. <gasps> A co op pick. <laughs> Pass. Uh, Jared did like co ops. Uh, co op pick. Um, oh, uh, it's it's not as much of a board game as just a good time and game in general, but any of the modern detective games mm. uh -huh. are very good. Um, Cats don't that. apologize. You don't need to. What do you mean? Um, uh, when we finish helping Truth Eternal, I will tell you. What other co op games do we really like? I don't. Um, oh, Mission Control is on pre order. That's, well, that's, that's literally, the, that's literally the only co op game that I can think of right now that I enjoy. Um, I mean, then you have games like. Did you have a new edition of Betrayal at House on the Hill? Yeah, Pandemic. Is a good, is a solid one. Uh, but they have a new pen. They do have a new Betrayal Hustle Hill, like third edition, that's out right now, which is a co-op game with a trader mechanic. Um, if you never played those, that's also a lot of fun. But yeah, so I think that'd be my co-op choices off top off the top of my head. And yeah, Pandemic is always a good choice. I, sorry, Derek, first of all, Megan had something, but we interrupted your Kickstarter corner. No, that's it. The only other thing I had, in October, they're releasing a uh, Monty Python uh, 5e something. I don't, I, honestly, I don't even care what it is. <laughs> I'm going to get it. <laughs> uh, Decatur, uh, Hollywood Studios is still Aerosmith. So that's what we have. I didn't, did, I didn't. Oh, hey, Decatur. I didn't. No, Disneyland and Paris. And I dragon I don't know. snuck in while I was making Rock coaster. But yeah, tonight we're playing Dragons and Unicorns. No, you have not gotten to hear the story of the Resort Floof Rescue yet. Uh, that will be coming. <laughs> I will tell that story as soon as I get the chance to. Right. Well, but the first thing, first thing that I got really excited about, because G <laughs> popped into the chat. Guess what's coming to Huntington? Uh, hot pot? Hot pot's coming to Huntington! <laughs> <laughs> I've heard good things about it. Um, we've never played it, but I, I've heard that a lot of people really like Massive Darkness. Literally never heard of it. Yes, Ken, apparently, apparently it's already here. Because a friend of mine posted on the Facebook and I was like, wait, is this real? Because I love Hot Pot and I only get it whenever I go to Philly. <laughs> ah! Soon. Dragons versus unicorns. There's going to be a link in chat if this tickles, uh, if this tickles your, uh, your fancy. Use the link in the chat. Don't go searching for it on Kickstarter. Use the link in the chat. Uh, and truth, last thing as far as recommendations, if for some reason 
They have a copy of Sea of Legends. Not Sea of Legends. No. Oh. Yeah. Is it Sea of Legends? Sea of Legends. Uh, Thirsty Pirates? Yes. What are you talking that about? That is Sea of Legends, yes. Okay, because there's a there's a video game that's very similar. Sea name. of Thieves. That's Thank Sea of you. Thieves. Okay. Sea of Legends. If you find Sea of Legends, pick that up. Thirsty oh, yeah. If you don't have Sea Pirates. of Legends, you got to pick it up. Thirsty Pirates. Okay, so, quick story time. Because I haven't gotten to, like, see everybody since I went on my fancy retreat. Um, and here we thought Derek's when they hated everyone. What? Why did you say that? Because you just abandoned people. Oh, fuck off. I went for my job. Hey, Michi. Hi, Michi. You're welcome. So, the... Uh, the, yes, it is a story related to a TikTok. Yes, mm -hmm. the TikTok. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, I went to a fancy um, five-star resort um, this past weekend. Um, I did not feel out of place. I was very surprised. Um, it was very interesting. It was a good time. I could not afford anything. Um, there was one place that I could eat and actually afford, um, and that was the pantry. <laughs> like the literal pantry. She went back to the kitchen and just, like, stole something off the shelf. Like, I'm not kidding. I could not afford anything at this place. Um, you think I'm joking. I am not. Um, so, let's see, it would have been Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. Because we were there Thursday. Friday night, I had a class that I had to teach. Um, I had to teach Yoga Nidra. But it was out in, like, the front area of the lodge area. And um, uh, essentially, we were just at a campfire, like, in, like, this center area where we were going to have s'mores. Everybody was laying in the grass around because Yoga Nidra is just a guided meditation. So all I was doing was reading a script. So we finished that. Grass now. Basically. We finish that. Um, everybody sits down, and a family comes up and joins us, um, and they partake in some of our s'mores. And I noticed when they start to leave, I kept hearing this noise, and I'm like, what is that noise? Like, is that a child? Is it a cat? What is it? So I look, and the kids are running down the hill, and there is a little, all I could see was a little black, fluff running across the road um over toward the spa area and i was like oh so it's a cat and i was like well it looked really tiny but like it looked like a cat you know and so we sit there we continue they leave we continue talking and i keep hearing them meow and it was so loud and i'm like i feel like it's right over there i've got to go and i saw it so i left my manager to sit and talk with the um clients while i <laughs> snuck away to go see if I could find this cat. Long story short, after probably 15 minutes of wandering around trying to keep it from going into the road, um, I had a cat in my arms <laughs> um, who was about this big and just a big old ball of fluff. So we're like, well, what am I going to do with this animal? Because I knew that they, had, they have a zoo on site um, and then they have like a a boarding place on site as well and like there are people who have animals here somebody somebody needs a kitten um so i asked the bartender at the restaurant that was like right there hey do you have anybody who wants a kitten or like do you know where i could take this sweet baby because i really don't want to leave it out it's cold um and she's like well i don't have anybody um that need that that can have it. They all say that they have their their landlords won't let them have it in their apartment. Um, but she knew about this cat already. Uh, yes, she had seen it running around oh. um, outside, and she had come out whenever I was looking for it. Mm -hmm. um, she was like, you know, I, if if you take it up, if you take it to your room, I don't know anything, and if you um, leave it out here, I'll leave some food out. Um, you know, make sure it's okay. I was like, okay. And I already knew in my head, I'm like, well, I'm not leaving it. Did you tell her that that cat would really enjoy some crab cakes? No. Because um, you could have got some free crab cakes. 
<laughs> I was like, no. Um, so I had already looked up to see if there were any 24-hour um, emergency vets, if there were any um, uh, 24-hour rescues that were around. Nada. There were 24-hour um, emergency vets, but it was over in Cheat Lake, which was like a 30-minute drive, which I was willing to make. But they wouldn't take the kid. Um, so I go back and I ask this other this other kid, hey, do you know anybody who wants a kitten? And he was like, well, that's like a thing for my mom. And I'll like talk to my, um, like an in command or whatever. He said a fancier word and I don't remember what it was. But he went inside, he came back and he was like, nobody knows, but there's like a place on site that you can take it. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I'm not leaving this cat outside. Like it's not happening. And so of course, at that moment, my boss comes up, like the big boss lady comes up. And she just recently had to um, put down her cat of 24 years. Um, Animagus. Recently. Um, so she has a soft heart for cats. It's important to the story. Um, because she comes over and I was thinking, oh my God, she's going to be so mad that I'm going to try and uh, that I've caught this cat. And they're like, no. The, her and Krista were both like, oh, so it's going up to your room, right? And we're like, So, uh, secondary long story short, it did end up in our bathroom. Um, we did not get turned down service that night or the following night, which meant I missed a night of cookies and I was very upset about it. Um, because I didn't get my cookies because Lauren ate my cookie. Uh, <laughs> so we had the do not disturb um, sign on our room for two nights. Um, <laughs> for no one to enter our room because we had a small kitten. Um, that kitten's name is now Nima, and she is with Lauren, and she weighs a pound, and she's getting acclimated to her life here in West Virginia now, so. <laughs> it was, it was a time. <laughs> She's very cute. I'll post pictures in the Discord. Um, but yeah, I had that TikTok in my drafts um, from the night that I brought her in because I didn't want to post it until I had left um, the resort. <laughs> so. Tonight we're playing Dragons versus Unicorns. It's on Kickstarter right now. There's going to be a link over in chat where you can buy it yourself. I th it's still $17.75, which is like... I mean, it's a card-based game, obviously, but super cheap. Um, the premise of this game is we are all going to be building uh, dragons and unicorns that have special abilities. And once we have built dragons and unicorns with special abilities, we're going to destroy each other with them. Uh, so... Because we're playing a three-player game, we can all each build dragons and unicorns. If you were playing a two- or four-player game, you have to choose one to build. Um, we are all going to draw five cards into our hand. And to my understanding, they can be because we're doing whatever we want. Five of whatever you please. Okay. Uh, I am going to have two unicorns and three dragons. Uh, this is, if you've ever played like bears versus babies, it's very similar to that. You're going to be building, uh, your creatures, a head, a body, a tail, wings, whatever. Um, there are dragons that have three cards. There are dragons that have five cards and the same for the unicorns. Um, but you can have a hand of 10, even though you're starting with five. And like the whole premise is you are fighting each other to try and collect the dead remains of your foes. Uh, to have points at the end. Uh, when is the end? That's a very good question, Derek. Thank you for asking. The game is over when the, after the final battle happens uh, and no one can battle, play cards, or pick up cards. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Arliel, we do not have the Not Safe Work Edition, but there is one. Yes, we have we have a, a, a beta version. Uh, obviously, it's still on Kickstarter, but the Kickstarter there is a not safe for work expansion. There's also a bunch of stretch goals. One of which is uh, linen 
cards. Which, I mean, these cards, these honestly, cards they're not that bad. Solid. They shuffled really well. Hi, PSP! So, sorry, you said the green dragons have three pieces, the red dragons have five? five. Yes. Okay. Um, and you obviously, you can't battle until you have a full monster, and you, I don't, I think you can only battle another full monster. Steven, you are going first. Hey, thank you. All right, and you said I can do five actions, correct? Five actions. One dragon. Two. Stank breath. Three. Bigfoot legs. Four. Leaf wings. Is that what it is? Leaf wings. Leaf wings. And a uh, poop. Full dragoon. And five. Oh, I can move this over. Wow, Stephen. This also kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, the spell one. Spell wizards? Mm -hmm. Yes. Epic spell wizards. Hi, come here. Uh, I'm going to take a dragon card. Yes, yes, you are my rescue kitten. I'm going to play and your dragon card. Enough. See, all these people that keep getting more cats, they don't they don't they don't think that you're that you guys are enough. Mm -hmm. I did text I, I think I messaged both of you and was like, so it happened Three. again. <laughs> did we both have the same response? No. Yes. <laughs> but I knew that the kitten was not coming home with me. I had not anticipated it going home with Lauren, but it did. Four. <laughs> Five. Invisible wing. <laughs> Let's hope it works. Megan. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Mm. And. You can pick up. Uh huh. Well, stuff. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Four. Does it say crazy kitten breath? Yeah. Excuse me, I'd like to see. It's like a hairball. One. Oh, I see. He's, he's a kitten. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Is that another invisible wing? Yeah. Wings. Three. Four. Five. Please get down. <sighs> You're kind of in the way. Yes, I love you. The stream loves you. You are the star of the show, you big chunk. So, Megan, if you wanted to, you could attack, attack Steven's dragon. You both have complete You could, but animals. I attack you. When can I play, like, the cards in my hand? Like the ability cards? Yeah. Uh, once per... Uh, attack round? Roll. You can only play one for each roll yeah. that you have. Three. <laughs> four. <laughs> five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. 
two. You can obviously have more than ten cards in your hand during your turn, but at the end of your turn you have to. Three. Go back down to ten. I only have five. I sprayed the shoes. Four. Good. I'll take it tomorrow. Okay. Five. Octopus legs. Oh, he has a person. Yeah. <laughs> what does he watch a little bit? One. Pea shooter. <laughs> Pitbull feet. Two. BB. I am not sure what a full white unicorn looks like. It looks like you have a back half, another leg, and a, and a top. Yeah. Okay. You're going to yeah, have five. That makes sense. Two. <laughs> Three. Four. Four. Five. Getting awfully close there, unicorn. <laughs> One. <laughs> Laser saber horn. Two. Pogo legs. Three. Taser tail. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I would love to go to Disneyland Paris. I am going to attack Megan. <gasps> but the extent of my French is oui. <laughs> Baguette. Bidet. Merci beaucoup. Je ne sais quoi. Horse divorce. Horse divorce. Voulez-vous? Coucher. Avec moi. C'est soi. C'est soi. Uh, I'm going to attack your light saber horn. Rude. Unicorn. With my stank breath, Bigfoot. Sure. Stank, stank, stank breath. And I'm going to start by playing Shark Claws. <gasps> ah! Easily defeat two body parts. Wow. Uh, oh, I think you decide. Yes, this. and this. Ba ba! Ba ba! And I can only do one per per roll. What's recover? Like, okay, so this one doesn't say ability. It just says recovery. Take any card from the discard pile. You have to. You already played a card. So for this roll. Okay. French toast. Two. Orange barrels. Orange barrels. All right. Now Megan attacks me back. Correct. Correct. Now Megan's gonna roll the dice. You have to get a three plus to get rid of the helmet, though. So you can get rid of the helmet. Bye, helmet. It goes to the discard. Stinky helmet. It doesn't get flipped over like the rest. Gotcha. Okay. Recovery. I'm going to take the claws back. So, Steven can't do anything. So now it's Megan's turn again. If you're missing this, this dice has a one, two, and three on it. Depending on what you roll, uh, you can flip over the cards that have uh, either that matching number or add up to the number that you rolled. Um, so Steven rolled a one and couldn't take Megan's head from her unicorn. Uh, so now Megan was able to defeat her, Steven's entire dragon, and now she gets those cards, which are going to be points for her at the end of the game. What happens to the thing that turned over? 
Uh, they stay turned over until that monster is defeated. Gotcha. Okay. Don't call him a monster. Until this creature is dead. He's a unicorn. Okay. <laughs> Technically, he already did decapitate it as he got rid of the legs and the One. butt. Um, and only the head was left. Two. Can I help you, cat? Three. Four. I got a chainsaw horn and fuzzy pink bunny slippers. Sometimes. Five. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's my that's my whole thing. Megan, what do you want to do? Draw cards. Oh, the architect Eric's full dragon over there? Oh, I guess it could have, but I already drew. Three, four. Uh, Decatur asked if you do Disney bounding. I have Disney bounded before. It's always too hot in Florida for me to Disney bound as the characters that I enjoy. Uh, but when possible, Ooh. I like to whip out uh, a nice Peter Pan or Captain Hook uh, cosplay. Disney bound. Mostly I just wear my fun Disney t shirts. Two. Three. Four. Butterfly wings. Are those Disney bound very well? (laughs) (laughs) And then strip it off when you get too warm in the middle of the convention center. Hey, this guy has his shirt off. <laughs> Unicorn. Why are you two not attacking each other? It's part of the game. Where'd your neck go? <laughs> Three. Four. Get a lot of cards over there, sir. Five. Drill horn. Drill horn. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Huzzah. I also have ten. <sighs> um. Ow. She didn't like that. Oh, she didn't. I'm going to um, fight Derek. Oh no! That's a two. Which means I can turn over the clown shoes. Just my shoes. Just, just my shoes. I assume you're using yours. Yes, I'm using smelly socks over here. I guess I could have done that. You. Balls. Let's get rid of this invisible wing. Balls. Whoever defeats the, the dragon, do they get to uh, take the whole dragon at that point? Mm-hmm. So, like, if she were to knock you way down and then I came in and just cleaned up, I would get all those points? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yay! No. Huzzah! No! <laughs> Explosive burp. Instantly defeat two body parts. Love to see it. No! Can we use these even though it's you had a dragon? Good question. Because I haven't been using this one because I don't have a dragon. Would make a difference. Would make a difference. It would make a big difference. Boop! 
Yes, you can use them however you want. <laughs> you cannot use them on armor. Uh, so you can use them even though it's not a dragon? Correct. Um, my turn. <laughs> well, because if you were playing an individual uh, the, with just what? one, you would only you would only be using your unicorn. That's true. Two, three, <laughs> four, I told Derek today, I said I had to get on to Dreamlight Valley because I had a quest that was time related. But there's one more that I have to do, and it's I have to get it in the morning. And I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna well. happen. <laughs> I need snacks. Snacks? One. <gasps> the sweetest pet boom baby. Two. Three, four, five, ten. One. Whoa. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. Two. Three. Skeleton legs. Four. I'm attacking Derek's dragon. Rude! Mm. Nay! Dodge. Avoid battle. So does that just mitigate my turn completely? Yes. Okay. Steven, do you do theme parks? Yes. I actually worked in a uh, amusement park for three years. One... One that was ranked Two. as the best amusement park for rides in the world for about 10 years in a row. Three. Did you ever get rid of Dragster? It's not a big deal to me. It was a very tall ride, but it was very much just a. You well, go yeah, out, no, I know. It's go a up, zoop, four. Zoop. And for me, it's like that's not a roller coaster. Like, Five. That's the thrill ride in the amusement park. Damn it, I need a butt! Twelve. Get rid of these. I'll get rid of this. One. <laughs> Spearhorn. Four. Lightning tail. Five. St stilts for some reason. <laughs> hey, Defish. Ran out of space. Hi, Defish. I want that dragon, damn it. You're attacking my dragon? Yes. With your baby dragon? Yes. Need my other drink out of my bag and hand me the Oreos. Are you avoiding the are you avoiding the attack? Hang on. 
dodge. <sighs> okay. I still need a fucking butt. I'm going to take my chainsaw horse and attack Steven's thing. Airplane. Dodge. Dodge. Hi, Quaid Ray. I... Hey, that's Quaid. I'm going to fight the dragon. This dragon? Yeah, that dragon. Damn it. I'm going to play Burning Touch. Oh. Add extra point to every turn in this battle. Wow. Keep using this card until I lose a battle. Does it apply to me too? No. no why would it apply to you I don't think it said every turn in this battle. <laughs> so two. Two. I can't do anything. No, you can't. This doesn't apply to me too. Which, are you using the spear horn? Um, well... <laughs> I'm gonna play blinding camera to add two extra damage to this to this roll. Come on, two. Damn it. Yeah, there you go, you can get rid of one piece. I don't. The, the. My turn. <gasps> I'm attacking the dragon. <laughs> this dragon? Yes. I wish we. I mean, well, I don't Are know. Are you avoiding it? No, I can't. Okay. Sharp claws. What does that mean? Instantly defeat two body parts. You bastard. That's super fun. I think Ray's gonna be at Shucks. Where is Shucks? Texas? Uh, California, I think. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. Where is Shucks? Canada. Oh. Tell Joey's a jerk. Don't do that. Uh, I'm going to use my chainsaw horse to go after Megan's lightsaber. Are they specific sides because they have to match up with the body? Yes. Five. <laughs> yeah, just put a left a left One, wing. Two, three, four, <laughs> just five, put six, a. Seven, don't, it doesn't eight, match. Nine, We're just ten. fucking around. <laughs> just, a, just. <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use chainsaw horse. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna use Chainsaw Horse to go after uh, that uh, octopus boy over there. Hi, Bill. Okay. I'm gonna use lightning speed to add an extra point to every turn this battle. Four, I'll take the the head and the torso. That's okay. Listen, you all never have to apologize. If you're here, great. If you're not, that's all right too. You have a life. Okay. We don't. Um, I'm going to play <laughs> Dragon Swap. Exchange a part in your hand with a uh, with a played card. I'm going to replace my airplane wings with the baby wings. Which one are we doing? Chainsaw? So I need a three, right? Yeah. No. Um, nope. Space Mountain does do the Star Wars at Disneyland, but not at Disney World. Disney World doesn't retheme anything. Uh, I don't know how you do Space Mountain. <laughs> I think they did Space Mountain once, but it was for like a weekend. How was you? Uh, that was uh, yeah, that was me attacking his green dragon. I'm gonna attack. Chainsaw dragon, chainsaw unicorn. Sure, 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 sure. With the big guy. Mm hmm. I've not seen a five or a six. <coughs> a five a, or a six come up there. There's I, no five or six. Oh, is there not? No. <laughs> oh. Which is why I'm not seeing one. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Hey! Just the butt. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Thank you. Okay. My turn. <laughs> One. Two. Three. I might have made up for the times that I didn't Five. say it. Because there for like the first like year and a half, I did not really curse on stream. One. And then I said, fuck it. <laughs> Two. Thank fuck. Three. I'm a sailor. Four. <laughs> five. Oh, we'll put on the silly clothes. Let me come ashore. A sailor, just a sailor. Just like you was before. Maybe. I'm gonna attack the big guy. Yeah, sure. That's a two. Let the fuck commence. <laughs> That's a three. God damn it. Thank God. <laughs> so we'll put on a civic clothes. Finally come ashore. A sailor's just a sailor, just like he was before. <laughs>
Whale Nado! <gasps> Opponent turns over head card. Why would you do that? Because if she defeats me, I'm not going to leave it open for you to just stroll in and roll the dice one time and get five cards. Well, whoever loses, I'm still going to go after the next round. Started off so well. Ended so poorly. Alright. I need dice. Sailor's just a sailor, just like he was before. That's a three. Three. Fuck you. One, two. Those are the back scaly legs. <laughs> have a butt? No butt, but armor. A sailor's just a sailor, just like he was before. Zombie squirrel bazooka? I think this card is fucking hilarious. One. <laughs> Two. I got a carrot horn, zombie squirrels, dragon hide boots, and skeleton legs. Three. Four. Five. Tornado breath. Tornado breath. That dragon is all kinds of fucked up. What? This No, this guy. guy. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Oh, he's in a fucking uh, I'm like, That's not my pile. Van Gogh painting. He's melting. Or uh, Dali. Is is the the tornado? It's His horns? The thing's getting blown. One. Two. Three. Oh, he's a butterfly on one side and a dragonfly on the other. Huh, <laughs> dragonfly. <laughs> I want zero gravity boots. Um. So I can fall from higher. <laughs> There's Seven nothing else I can really do. You don't have to take all five actions. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So wait, I did one, two, three, four, five. Sure. Those are not my one, cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have to get rid of one card. Oh no. Get rid of chicken legs. Chicken legs. Sailor just a sailor, just like he was before. in here. There's not gonna be. Why did I do all that? Try one more. Fine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. No! My turn. They're like, they're like um, two Logan's steak knives. They're not even like Three. daggers. They're just like steak knives. 
four, five. And I have to discard cards for a second. Damn it, I keep doing the wrong thing. Whoa, unruly cats. Hello, unruly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I get rid of three. Don't know what to do about this. One, two, three. Hi. Stop it. Thank you. How are you, friend? Your name is new out there tonight. Hi. We are playing uh, Dragons vs. Unicorns, which is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, if you do SB Spy Kickstarter, it's going to be in chat. Use the link. Go follow. Go support Two. it. It's a cute little game. Three. Four. Five. Megan? Stack over there. I'm going to fight Steven's little dragon. <laughs> Dice. Were either of those a one? Uh-huh. Probably should have checked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to do muscle flex. Didn't need to. Fuck you. I had a card that got rid of the head. <laughs> ah. You're welcome. Two and a beer. That's your lady lock. No. <laughs> so we'll put on our sippy clothes. Finally come ashore. Recover. Sailor's just but. a sailor, just like he was before. It's the wrong butt, though. It's okay. One, two, three. What the fuck? Fuck off. You need a head. I thought I had a head. Apparently you don't. One, two, three. Four. Five. Can we shuffle the dragon deck? Yep. Put on our civvy clothes, find the come ashore. A sailor, just a sailor, just like he was before. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive! He's alive! We're really grasping at straws here at the end. Again, not my... Um... That was three, <laughs> four, five, uh-huh. I need to get rid of a couple things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Okay, so it took longer than 15 minutes. 
But it's because we are all... Um, Competitive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Us? No. <laughs> Never! Does it say on the box how long it's supposed to take? I don't think it does. <laughs> Got rid of a veggie tail. Veggie tails, veggie tails, veggie tails, veggie tails. There's a broccoli. I have no clue what that is. It looks like a taco. <laughs> Onion, okay. avocado, uh, bell pepper, carrot. My turn. Beet. Is that an orange? Because that's a fruit. <laughs> the tail is a leek. Okay. Well, that's discarded, right? Yeah. Recovery. Oh, fuck you. Uh, that dragon pile needs resuffled. Huh? Two. Three. <laughs> Go to hell. Four. <laughs> Five. The, the, that dragon needs reshuffled. <laughs> Just the card flip. <laughs> Beer throw. <laughs> One. Hold on, I... Oh. I have to just go down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I get rid of two things. One. <laughs> two. The thirsty pirates who don't do anything. Three. <laughs> Discard. Uh, One, two. Molasses bread. Three. Hang on, hang on. I need to see this because the, the painted toenails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, m- <laughs> boy's gonna fight your little boy. Sure. My little boy's gonna fight your, your little, little boy. boy. <laughs> Backflip drop kick. Gimme. Okay, well, now, good battle. <laughs> I'm going to fight you, Megan. Wow. Who could have ever seen that coming? (gasps) Such a surprise. I have never heard that information before. Are you going to... I don't have anything to... Try to stop it? I don't have anything to stop it. Okay. Blinding camera. Rude. So, four total. So, we're going to go one... Sure, sure, sure. Thunder fart! Thunder fart! <laughs> uh, you can't until the armor's gone. Turn over all defeated party parts, body parts oh. for one dragon. Oh. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you. <laughs> Three! Pew! Okay. Uh, you can't. You can't. You have to play an ability card. That's not an ability card. Oh. What? I think that she played one that wasn't an ability card. No, I played. This is an ability card. An ability card. It has the gold around the edge. Okay. Bye, bye, bitch. Mm-hmm. Flipper mm-hmm. legs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boom! 
Shop claws. Shop claws. Shop claws. Grab the threes. There's no threes. Okay. Lasso. Mm. We, we gotta fight! Two extra damage! Shit. <laughs> what? Yes! Wow! Gimme. <laughs> my, my turn. So I'm sort of just locked. Uh, I can't finish any of my monsters and uh, can't do anything about it. So does anyone have a blue head they want to give me? What do you want to trade for it? I got some stuff. I don't have any blue heads. What stuff do you have that you're willing to trade? Is there something you want? Do you have any parts of a red dragon? I don't have any parts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any parts. <laughs> but I, I, here's some free information. There's two parts in here. I can give you a recover that will help you get one of those. So there's two parts in there's there? There's two parts That's in not there. That's not going to help me. Because I'm still missing a key component, which I'm guessing Megan has. I don't know. Do you have a redhead? No. There's no more redheads. Is there an odd number of pieces? Oh, wait, there's a redhead. Uh, do you have a red wing? Uh, I don't have any parts. No, Megan, do you no. have a wing? It's my turn. I know. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to trade with you or not. So wait, we're missing a part? Or is it just no. an odd number of parts? There's not an odd number of parts. I'm saying that I'm looking at what I have in my hand, what is out there. If you don't have any parts in your hand and she doesn't have any red parts in her hand, then we are missing a part to one of the dragons. So oh, I don't know about that. So no dice? You got a blue head? No. Sure, you got a white butt? Nope. I mean, you do, but do you have one in your hand? <laughs> so what happens if none of us can do anything after this? Game's over. So we just add points and that's it? Yeah. Okay. I think that's where we're at. Oh, yeah, because I can't I can't attack Derek. Nope. And he can't attack you. And I can't attack either one of you. I mean, unless... I don't think there's enough. Now, there's not enough pieces out there in general for us to make another dragon or a unicorn that people aren't going to trade, so. You got a white butt? Yeah. I have a white butt and a blue head. But you don't want anything that I have? What good would it serve you besides you two fighting to get more points? I, I don't know. <laughs> I say game over. Yeah, game's over. All right. So now we're going to add up all of the individual parts of the monsters we defeated. Remaining cards on the board also go to your score. They do? Yeah. Well, shit, then I would have laid something down. Cards left in your hand do not count as points. I didn't think that they did. 
Well, in that case, on my turn, I would have laid down. Well, it's not your turn. You fought Megan on your turn. But what I'm saying is if you're passing, if you can't do anything, I still have things I can do on my turn. So I, the game would not have ended. I would not have passed my turn by then. If I, because I still have things to do. Okay, Megan, do you have any cards that you would like to place on the table? I'm going to place all three of these on the table. <laughs> or all four of those on the table. Okay. Thirty-seven. I fully forgot what I counted. Thirty-seven. Thirty-five. High rule condition. There aren't any. How many monsters did you defeat? Full monsters? Full monsters. It seems like you share the victory if there aren't any tie conditions. <sighs> yeah, you can't you make share up the tie victory if you don't have any tie conditions. Steven and Derek win. No, <laughs> fuck off. How many monsters did you defeat? <laughs> no, that's not how it works. What, what was your highest value monster you defeated? Let me look. Eight. It's a tie. Three, six, nine, Dang, twelve, she's fine. <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> Give How many monsters did you defeat? Get low. You get low. You're, if you're get low. Arbitrary rule, I'm gonna make an arbitrary rule. How many monsters did you defeat? Like three, I think. Okay. They tied. Derek and Steven win. Megan loses. Oh, you got your 300th while I was gone? I got it on zombie dice of all things. Boo! Boo! All right, well, I'm going to be sending an email in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dragons vs. Unicorns, a card-based fighting game with one dice. Check it out on Kickstarter using the link in our chat. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, good times. It's a cute, quick, well, if you, relatively quick game. If you get it today, it's cheaper. What is, do you know what it goes up to after today? 20 Seventeen seventy-five. So you're saving three dollars and fifty uh, twenty-five cents. It is a really cute game, and even if these are just the basic cards, they're very cute. quality. <laughs> uh, it is eight twenty. Do you want to try one more round? Um, I would really. I know that we've only been going for about an hour and a half. My head feels like it's going to explode. <laughs> okay. So I'm very sorry that, but I would I I need to end these stream early because my head hurts a lot. Dragons and unicorns. Okay, let me find someone to spread the love to since we're leaving. The a weather bit early. is indeed shit. Uh, for sure, go check this out on Kickstarter. I think it is definitely worth that money. Um. You should do that, because I laughed until my sides hurt today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a Pokemon AI. Uh, I think it's through GitHub. Um, but you can go, and as long as you have, like, you just you have to create a GitHub account, but then you can just enter keywords, and it makes Pokemon based on those keywords. Uh, G did it for us in the Discord, all the mods and everything today. Fucking hilarious. Um... Uh, join our Discord so you can see all this stuff. Um, the link to the Kickstarter 
is going to be in chat, but it's also in the Discord under Derek's Kickstarter corner. Uh, so if you don't want to check it out tonight, you can check it out tomorrow. Um, plus, there's all kinds of other things that happen in the Discord. Um, so go do that. Follow us on all of our socials. Uh, we're going to be posting the October Spook Month schedule uh, soon. Friday, we are playing Haunted Mansion, which is so much fun. Uh, we played it uh, for uh, on Labor Day. Mm-hmm. With my dad um, and Nikki. Very fun. Um, <laughs> go uh, blah, 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 do, do the things, <laughs> folks. I don't know. I forgot, forgot that that was the one we were saying. Yelled at Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> things got heated. Uh, Haunted Mansion, honestly, it is much more... It's not intricate, like it's not hard. It's a very We're light game. We're playing Haunted Mansion, but it's more intricate than I was anticipating uh, in terms of like what happens and the rules. Um, but yeah, so that uh, Haunted Mansion on Friday, Spoop Month has officially begun. Spoop Month is uh, the best month of the year. Month plus um, Haunted Mansion on Friday, uh, Hunt a Killer Blair Witch on Monday. Uh, and then Block Party on Wednesday? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're playing some smaller games, uh, from Fight in a Box games, uh, that are all on Sovereignty, and we may be joined by the creator and, uh, publisher, uh, Seppi, um, when we, uh, to maybe, like, do a little interview, have him teach us the games, and then we'll play with all of you guys, because a lot of the games are very short, so we'll get through a lot more games. Um, like we did kind of with the, uh, when we played, except this time we're actually going to play the games that are on the social post. Listen. Derek got very mad at us that we didn't play the games that were on the social post. You were not here to voice your concerns. (laughs) Oh, I don't give it. I didn't know that that was a requirement. (laughs) What? If Steven says... Or if the email I say games like no no but if it's if the email from Sovereignty has oh here are the game logos that you can use for your social posts those are the ones that I'm gonna use from the people that are sponsoring the stream and you all uh, went we gave rogue. we gave the chat the option yeah but Danny was in the chat she was okay with yeah. it yeah chat uh, well Danny's a too nice a person uh, but the chat there a uh, chat's just a bunch of gremlins. Chad, are you going to take that? Yeah, they're going to take it. They can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, if you haven't, <laughs> plethora of things uh, to watch. <laughs> so many things to watch. House of Dragon, House of the Dragon, incredible. Rings of Power, <laughs> incredible. Uh, A League of Their Own on Amazon Prime, incredible. Uh, if you still haven't watched Sandman for some reason, go watch Sandman. Also... I'm watching the Quantum uh, Quantum Leap from the 80s. So much better than I ever would have anticipated, but it is a show from the 80s, so it is not uh, PC at all. It, uh, it I watched an episode today that was, whew, it was cringy the whole time. Uh, but still a great show. Scott Bakula is fucking fantastic. And, um. and the guy that was the mislead... Uh, leader of the Cylons in the new Battlestar Galactica is also hilarious. Oh, if you have not seen Ryan Reynolds' announcement about Deadpool 3, you should watch that. Why are, why are you talking about Because that? I'm excited about that one. Okay. Am I not allowed to be excited about a movie? No, you can't. I just didn't know that you liked the Wolverine. I liked the Deadpool. Well, and the Wolverine, but... Uh, so, yeah, that it'll be fun to see Wolverine die again. Uh... Uh, we're going to raid somebody new, uh, OCA VX or fifteen, or I don't no, know. No, that's not fifteen. VX. VX. If it was Roman numerals, would be five. No, X is ten. X is ten. I know. Minus and then V five. is before it. Yeah. No, but V would just be five. So is it fifty? Right. Five no. times. Fifty has, is an L. I don't know. We're going to go ride them. They're playing Ticket to Ride digitally. They have a funny hat on, so go spread some love. They have a funny hat on. They have a funny hat on. They do have a funny hat on. So, we love you guys. Have an amazing uh, middle of your week. We'll be back here on Wednesday. We'll be back here on Friday. Uh, Friday. Today is Wednesday. 
back here on Friday with some Haunted Mansion. We love you guys. Have an amazing week. Bye. Love each other. What happened to peas? Bye.